Hello, I'm Atuba George. Now, yesterday, we, we stopped at a place I was saying something very, very important. I promise we're going to continue, you know, from there. Now, what, what, what was I saying? I said, we don't even know how to pray or what we should even pray for. See, because sometimes we, not many times, a lot of God's children, they pray amiss. And because they pray amiss, they don't receive the answer because their heart is not even towards the, answer, the right answer. So even when God answers them, they don't know that God has answered. So they don't take advantage of the answer that God has given. I'll give you an example. You know, someone can be saying, ah, Pastor, please pray for me. I need a job. And then that, that looks nice. Okay, he needs a job. But then the question is, that may not be what he needs at this time. For example, you ask him, okay, so why do you need a job? And then he goes, hey, I need a job now so that, you know, I can make ends meet. Now, in the mind of God, that is wrong. So he will not answer that kind of prayer. He said, why? Oh, I'll, I'll explain to you just in a moment. But listen, now, his prayer is, I need a job. What's in his heart is, I need to make ends meet. In other words, I need to meet my needs. I need to, I, I need to pay my bills. I need to fix things. I need to buy things that I want. If I get a job, I'll get a, a, a salary. And then I'll be able to meet those needs. Now, that in itself is a big lie. I'm telling you the truth. Now, you know, there are several people who, oh God, I need a job. And they, they, they got a job. And then the next, you know, I, I need a promotion. Oh, I need a better job. Oh, it never stops. <laughs> you know why? You know why? Because you, you, you haven't satisfied that thing that you're longing for. You know what you're longing for? You are longing for your needs being met. Now, that's the right thing to pray about. Your prayer should be, Father, I need my needs to be met. And let me tell you, you don't need a job for your needs to be met. Now, this is it. Why am I? I'm telling you this. Remember, I told you something last week. I said, see, if you don't deal with who's your source right now, then you are, you're open for the attack of the enemy. And he's going to attack you real good. But if you settle it right now that God is your source, and then you begin to learn how to assess him as your source and take advantage of the truth that he's your source, then I'll tell you one thing. You are going to escape all the wiles of the enemy that he's going to hit through at you this year. Praise God. Not just this year, even beyond. Now I said, I said, you don't need a job to get your needs met. I'm talking to God, you as a child of God. Now, to the unbeliever, to the, to the one out there in the world, the people of the world, listen, they, they need to do all the struggling they need to do to make ends meet. But you as a child of God, Psalm, Psalm, book of Psalms, 127. Psalm 127. Watch this. I didn't say this. I'm just re echoing what God has said. Now, here's David speaking and he says, Except the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain that build it. Except the Lord keeps the city, the watchmen wicked, but in vain. Now, look at verse 2. Verse 2 says, It is is vain now you need to understand what david is saying here now david is speaking from the place of knowledge and then he says you know what it is vain for you to rise up early to sit up late to eat the bread of sorrow oh hold on what's he saying he says, it is vain for you to rise up early and sleep late. Now, who rises up early and sleeps late? You know, I've got to go to work. You know, I've got to, I've got to be somewhere. I've got to do this. I've got to do that. Now, he says, it is vain to rise up early to sleep late in order to eat the bread of sorrow. Now, if you read the Amplified Vibe version of this, now I'll even employ you to read the CEV. See, now, it says there that it is useless for you to rise up early and sleep late to make ends meet. It says it's useless. 
<laughs> Praise God. Now, now you, you know, if you want to look at this, what God meant, what David meant here by bread of sorrow, I want you to think. It is vain for you to rise up early, to sit up late, to eat the bread of sorrow. Now, what he's calling bread of sorrow is the pay you get from your labor. The pay you get from your toiling. The pay you get, your, your, your salary. You work in a place from, from 1st of the month to the 30th of the month. And then at the end of the day, they say, this is what you earn. You, know, you earn this amount of money for your labor you have put in this place. Now, that's what he is calling the bread of sorrow. Now, why did he say it is vain to do that? Because here he says, for so he giveth his beloved sleep. Now, when you look at this in King James, you think he's saying he makes you to sleep. No, that's not what he's saying. If you read from the CEV, CEV tells you that he gives his beloved blessings even when they are sleeping. <laughs> it's God. What does that tell you? It tells you that your father, now that's what notice it says he's beloved. He's beloved. Now, your father can take care of you, not just can, he actually takes care of you even when you do nothing. Even when all you do is wake up and sleep. Your father has made adequate provision for you. Now, does that mean we should be lazy? No, see, when you read scriptures, try to think the mind of God. Try to think the mind of the speaker. The, the, the person saying this was never a lazy man. But now he's saying something he has realized. And he tells you, I've, I've seen something. Except the Lord builds. There's no point building. Because I've built and it was destroyed afterwards. You know, he said, look, it's even vain to rise up and to eat the bread of soul. Because God gives his beloved sleep. He is telling you what he has experienced from the Lord. Do you understand what I'm saying? So why is he saying it's vain? Because that's what he's seen. Because he's discovered that it's useless. It's useless. Ah, he, he's gotten to a point where he said, you know what? I'll just rather rely on God and, and stop struggling because I've seen that it is all vain. Praise God. I've got to stop here. But we'll continue from this very point tomorrow. Praise God. Listen, don't get involved in vain things. That's why I'm sharing this with you. And may the Lord open your understanding that you will learn in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye-bye.